for each time I move the pile from one side to the other, it mixes up the wet and the dry. And I got my helper here, just in case there's a worm someplace in here. There just might some be something good. Day three of turning. Can't do it. There we go. Maybe. The best I've ever had a pile heat up to is 150. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now turn it again. The way I turn my compost is with a helper. As I dig a trench. Do it one-handed. Isn't that easy? Move it over. Okay, dug myself a trench. And since it's still light, not heavy, it does have some wetter If you can see the steam coming off of that or not. It's nice and warm. Then you always have to have a chicken in the middle of the pile. And then all I do is do it one handed, not that easy. Come back and just roll the thing back over into the trench. I do it much better with two hands and no chickens. I'll do the same thing tomorrow morning for 15 days. Then after 15 days, I just let it sit. And when you get halfway through the pile, other chickens start showing up. She's the one that refuses to get off a nest when somebody else wants to lay an egg. That's why she's got her bald spots. But one of the key things is try to keep everything under three inches. It gives it more surface area to decompose. And then when you're turning it, you don't run into the great big sticks that make it almost impossible to turn. My little helpers. And each time you turn the pile, it gets lower and lower as it decomposes. The finished pile will be half as much as when I started. But that's more than enough to garden with. Oh, would you find an eggshell? Ooh, tasty. It dropped four degrees while turning. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Okay, let's see how much she's heated up since yesterday's turn. Then I will turn her again. As well, not as warm as it was yesterday. And it's slowly creeping up. Nope, not as warm as yesterday. It lost a couple notches. And instead of buying a real expensive compost thermometer, I don't think it's a candy thermometer. I think it's a barbecue thermometer. It wasn't the real expensive compost thermometer.
there's the calico cat that makes the chickens go crazy, but sits outside and tries to catch rats at night, which is good. Hello, kitty.